Have you ever wondered how Thanksgiving came to be a national holiday? It's a question that might have crossed your mind as you sit down to enjoy a hearty meal with loved ones each November. The common narrative tells us that Thanksgiving's origins trace back to the pilgrims and Native Americans, who gathered to share a bountiful harvest in the early 17th century. This story of unity and gratitude has been etched into our collective consciousness, told and retold in countless history books and school plays. But what if I told you there's another figure, a less known but equally important character, who played a pivotal role in the establishment of Thanksgiving as a national holiday. Her name was Sarah Josepha Hale, a name perhaps not as familiar as the Pilgrims or the Mayflower, but one that deserves to be remembered nonetheless. Sarah Hale was a woman of many talents, a writer, an editor, and a tireless advocate for various social causes. But her most enduring legacy? Her relentless campaign to make Thanksgiving a nationally recognized holiday. It was her vision, her determination, and her unyielding belief in the power of Thanksgiving to bring people together that ultimately led to the holiday we know and love today. But how exactly did she accomplish this feat? How did a woman in the 19th century, a time when women's voices were often sidelined, manage to influence the course of a nation's traditions? And why was she so passionate about Thanksgiving in the first place? These are the questions we aim to answer as we peel back the layers of history to reveal the story of Sarah Josepha Hale. A story that is as fascinating as it is inspiring, as complex as it is endearing. A story that reminds us that the history we know is often just the tip of the iceberg, and that beneath the surface, there are countless unsung heroes whose contributions have shaped the world in ways we often take for granted. Join us as we delve into the story of Sarah Josepha Hale, the unsung heroine of Thanksgiving. Sarah Josepha Hale was not just an influential writer, but also a woman of tenacity and vision. Descending from an era when opportunities for women were scarce, Sarah was a shining beacon of intellect and ambition. She was born in New Hampshire in the late 18th century, a time when most women were confined to the domestic sphere. Yet she broke the mold, carving out a successful career as an author and editor. Her early life was marked by a thirst for knowledge, an attribute that would serve her well in her future endeavors. Sarah was largely self-educated, a testament to her determination and resilience. She devoured books and nurtured an innate curiosity about the world, a trait that would eventually lead her to become one of America's most influential women of the 19th century. Sarah's career as a writer and editor took off when she was appointed editor of the popular women's magazine, Godey's Ladies Book. Under her leadership the magazine became a cultural touchstone, a platform where she could advocate for women's education and other important causes. Her influence was far-reaching, shaping not only the lives of countless women, but also the broader American society. As a writer Sarah penned numerous novels, poems and articles, her words resonating with a wide audience. Her most famous work, Mary Had a Little Lamb, is a nursery rhyme still beloved by children today. Yet her literary contributions go far beyond this. She used her pen to champion the causes she believed in, steering public opinion with her powerful prose. Sarah Josepha Hale was a woman of vision, using her influence to shape the society around her. Her role in popularizing women's education and her advocacy for important social issues were significant. But she was more than just a writer and editor. She was a woman who was not afraid to stand up for what she believed in, to use her voice to effect change. However, her most enduring legacy is perhaps her relentless campaign to make Thanksgiving a national holiday. Sarah's campaign for Thanksgiving started in earnest in 1846. In the heart of the 19th century, Sarah Josepha Hale began a mission to establish Thanksgiving as a national holiday. A woman of influence, she was not just a writer, but also the editor of Godey's Ladies Book, one of the most popular periodicals of the day. Sarah recognized the power of her pen, and the platform she had been given. She used her editorials to share the idea of a national day of thanksgiving and gratitude, a day that could unite a country that was increasingly divided. Her editorials were passionate, persuasive, and painted a vivid picture of what thanksgiving could be, a day of unity, reflection and gratitude. But Sarah knew that words alone were not enough. She needed to reach the people who had the power to make her vision a reality. So, she started to reach out to influential figures of the time. She wrote letters and made appeals to governors, ministers, newspaper editors and anyone else who could help her cause. She was tireless in her campaign. No matter how many rejections she faced, she remained undeterred believing in the importance of her mission. 
Each setback was just a stepping stone on her path to success. Sarah's passion for Thanksgiving was infectious. The more she wrote and spoke about it, the more people started to listen. Her early efforts began to bear fruit as more and more states started to observe Thanksgiving. The idea of a national day of gratitude was starting to take hold. This was a testament to Sarah's determination and the power of her words. But this was just the beginning. Sarah was just getting started and her efforts were about to take on a whole new level. She was about to take her campaign to the highest level possible, to the President of the United States. And that's where our story takes an exciting turn, but for that, you'll have to stick around. In 1863 Sarah took a bold step and wrote a letter to President Abraham Lincoln. In the midst of a nation divided by civil war, Sarah Josepha Hale penned a letter that would change the course of American history. Her words were simple, yet powerful. She argued for the need of a unifying national holiday, a day of gratitude that could bring together a country torn apart by conflict. She wrote, We have too few holidays, Thanksgiving, like the 4th of July, should be considered a national festival, and observed by all our people. Sarah's letter was not just a plea for a holiday, but a call for unity. She believed that a shared day of gratitude could serve as a bridge, a common ground where people of all backgrounds could come together. She saw Thanksgiving as a symbol of unity and hope, a day when Americans could set aside their differences and celebrate the blessings they shared as a nation. In her letter, Sarah also highlighted the historical significance of Thanksgiving. She traced its roots back to the pilgrims, reinforcing the idea that Thanksgiving was not just a feast, but a celebration of the American spirit of perseverance and gratitude. But Sarah's vision for Thanksgiving went beyond the historical and the symbolic. She saw it as a day that could foster a sense of national identity. In a time when the country was split into North and South, she envisioned a holiday that could unite the people under a shared tradition, a shared identity, as Americans. Sarah's letter was a bold move, especially considering the social norms of her time, when women were seldom involved in political discourse. But Sarah was not just any woman, she was a woman with a vision, a woman with a voice, and she used that voice to advocate for a cause she believed in. And so, in the midst of the Civil War, a time of great turmoil and division, Sarah Josepha Hale penned a letter to the President, a letter that would shape the future of the American holiday calendar. And as we will see, Sarah's plea did not fall on deaf ears. Following Sarah's letter, President Lincoln made a historic proclamation. In the midst of the Civil War, on October 3, 1863, Lincoln declared the final Thursday of November as a National Day of Thanksgiving. A day for the nation to express gratitude for the blessings of the year, despite the tumultuous times. This proclamation was more than just a day off, it was a beacon of unity in a divided land. It was a moment for people to pause, to reflect, and to express gratitude, even in the midst of struggle and uncertainty. Lincoln's Thanksgiving proclamation didn't just establish a holiday, it helped to shape the nation's character. In his proclamation Lincoln invited his fellow citizens in every part of the United States, and also those who were at sea, and those who were sojourning in foreign lands, to set apart and observe the last Thursday of November as a day of thanksgiving. He urged the nation to commend to his tender care all those who had become widows, orphans, mourners, or sufferers, in the lamentable civil strife, and to fervently implore the interposition of the Almighty Hand to heal the wounds of the nation. As for Sarah, she was overjoyed. Her 17-year campaign had finally paid off, but she didn't rest on her laurels. Instead, she continued to promote Thanksgiving, penning editorials and recipes that helped shape the holiday as we know it today. She wrote about roast turkey, pumpkin pie, and the importance of family gatherings, traditions that still hold strong today. Sarah didn't just help to establish Thanksgiving, she helped to define it. She took a regional celebration and turned it into a national symbol of unity and gratitude. Sarah Josepha Hale had achieved her goal, but her influence did not stop there. Her tireless efforts and unwavering belief in the power of gratitude continue to resonate in every slice of pumpkin pie, in every thank you shared around the table, and in every heart warmed by the spirit of thanksgiving. Sarah's impact on thanksgiving extends beyond just the establishment of the holiday. Her influence permeated the very fabric of this cherished celebration, weaving together traditions and values that continue to resonate with us today. Sarah Josepha Hale, a woman of words and wisdom, used her editorial prowess not just to lobby for the recognition of Thanksgiving, but also to shape its essence. She saw Thanksgiving as a day of family, unity, and gratitude, a day when the nation could come together to acknowledge its blessings.
In the hustle and bustle of the 19th century, Sarah envisioned a day when families would gather around a table laden with the bounty of the harvest. She dreamed of a day when differences would be set aside and unity would be celebrated. Through her writings, she encouraged families to come together to share a meal, to create memories, and to express gratitude for the blessings of the past year. Sarah also promoted the value of unity. In a time when the nation was divided, she saw Thanksgiving as a bridge, a unifying thread that could bring together a disparate people. She believed that a shared celebration could foster a sense of national identity and unity. And indeed, her vision came to fruition as Thanksgiving became a symbol of national unity, a day when Americans, regardless of their background, come together to celebrate their shared heritage. And then, there was gratitude. Sarah saw Thanksgiving as a day to express thanks for the blessings of life. She advocated for a day when people would pause from their daily routines, look around, and appreciate the beauty and bounty of life. Sarah Josepha Hale, the godmother of Thanksgiving, left an enduring legacy that continues to shape our celebration of this cherished holiday. Her vision of a day filled with family, unity, and gratitude has become a cornerstone of our modern Thanksgiving celebration. We may not always recognize her name, but every time we gather around the Thanksgiving table, we are living out her legacy. Sarah Josepha Hale's crusade for Thanksgiving is a testament to the power of persistence. This remarkable woman's journey began as an influential editor and writer in the early 19th century. She was more than just a wordsmith. She was a force of change, a woman on a mission. And that mission? To unify a nation through the power of gratitude. From the moment she took up the cause, Sarah's determination was unwavering. She embarked on a campaign that lasted almost two decades, steadfastly advocating for Thanksgiving to become a national holiday. Year after year, she used her platform to promote the idea, penning countless editorials and even writing to several U.S. presidents. Her influence was not limited to her words alone. Sarah was a master networker, leveraging her connections to amplify her message. She reached out to influential figures of the time, seeking their support and urging them to join her cause. Her efforts were not in vain. She was instrumental in popularizing the concept of Thanksgiving, shaping it into the holiday we know and love today. But perhaps the most significant impact of Sarah's campaign was its ripple effect. By lobbying for Thanksgiving to become a national holiday, she was not just promoting a day of feasting and family time. She was advocating for a day of gratitude, a day to pause and appreciate the blessings of life. This sentiment resonated deeply with the American people, transcending state and regional boundaries. And so, after years of tireless advocacy, Sarah's dream was realized. Thanksgiving was declared a national holiday in 1863, a testament to the power of one woman's determination and the enduring appeal of a simple message of gratitude. So the next time you sit down for your Thanksgiving feast, remember the woman who worked tirelessly to bring this day of gratitude to every American home, Sarah Josepha Hale.